everyone, welcome to Design Tip of the Week from yesimadesigner.com. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to draw symmetrical shapes in Illustrator. There are several ways of drawing symmetrical shapes, so I'm going to show you one which is probably the easiest way of doing it, and then I'm going to show you a more advanced, but probably more effective way of drawing symmetrical shapes. So as you can see, I have this iconic logo, the Batman logo from 2008, and I have it placed onto my document. You can see I have a layer, and this is an image on that first layer. Now I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to double click on my first layer with the image, and I will choose template for this layer. Template means that we can do like a tracing layer from this, and it's automatically going to dim anything on this layer to 50% uh, visibility. So if I click on OK, you can see now it's dimmed. And it's also obviously locks this layer. So now we can only work on another layer. That's why I created layer 2. First of all, whenever I want to draw a symmetrical shape, I always try to define the center line. And for that, the best is to use the rulers. If you don't see them, you can always go to the View menu, and under rulers you will find show hide rulers the keyboard shortcut is command or control r so once you have them visible which is here on the left and on the top then you can just simply click on the one on the left and drag out a guide and set that as your center symmetry line once you have that ready you can switch to the pen tool and with the pen tool you can draw the shape itself. Now I'm going to make sure I'm using black as my stroke color just so I can see what I'm doing or you can also use different colors so we can even pick a red color for the stroke just to make sure we can see it. So that's a red color there selected and now I can start drawing. If I want I can lock the guide as well just to make sure I'm not moving the guide around and then I can start drawing. So I can draw these shapes quite quickly and easily with a couple of uh, curves. So that's the first curve, then I alt click on this point here and I draw the second one at also just alignment, alt click again and then holding down shift to make sure this is going to be straight. Then I can draw a smaller curve here and don't forget you can hold down space to move the anchor points around and by the way you know, it's not important to use the pen tool i mean whichever tool you are familiar with you can use whenever you want to draw uh, symmetrical shapes i just would like to use the pen tool i prefer that tool in most cases so i am not going to be 100 percent uh accurate to the logo but i just try to do it as quickly as possible so you can see the technique itself so that's important here at the end that i connected the top and the bottom points with a vertical straight line the way i did it again is holding down shift so here on the top i alt clicked on the last point and then i shift click to close up the shape so if i turn off the guide you can see that i created half of the whole shape and now even without the guides selected I can select this and press shift X to swap the colors on the shape itself so then the uh, stroke color will become the fill color then I can just select this shape and also click and hold on to the rotate tool to switch to the reflect tool and once that's selected I just click on either the top or the bottom points or you can even click anywhere on the uh, symmetry line and then hold down alt and shift together to click and drag the shape from the left to the right and that will create a duplicate and also reflect the shape once you have both of them ready you can select both of them by holding down shift you can select two or just click and drag over them and then switch to the shape builder tool which you will find here in the uh, toolbar you will find shape builder tool there or shift m is the keyboard shortcut and with this you just click and drag over these two shapes to combine them and now we have one shape uh, created so that's one of the techniques and that's probably the faster way of doing it uh, but 
not every time the most effective because if you don't have a guide or an image in the background which you are tracing over then you might find it a little bit difficult to see how your symmetrical shape will look like at the end so let's have a look at this other technique when we are going to actually see the reflection while we are drawing now as I said this is a little bit more advanced and you have to make sure that you follow these steps accurately and you don't miss anything because this can get messy easily so let me turn back the guy just so we can see it and then the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that you start drawing from the guide itself either on the top or on the bottom it doesn't matter but make sure you start drawing from the guide so you can start drawing and create your first curve or whatever uh, shape you want to draw it can be of, of course straight line as well and then before you would continue you can press escape so you can even have the uh, selection tool selected and uh, I'm going to press shift X just to have the stroke at the moment selected and not a fill color and then before I would continue I am going to go to the effect menu and under distort and transform I'm going to choose transform so once I select that and I select reflect X and I set up one copy if I turn on preview and also select the right uh, reference point then it will set up my reflected line already so it's important if you start drawing on the left side of the symmetry uh, guide then you should click on this reference point on the right if you start drawing on the right side then you will have to use the opposite so that reference point on the left so I'm using this one because I'm drawing on the left side and make sure you choose reflect X and copies set to 1 and I, you can click on OK and if you zoom really close you will see that the alignment is not perfect and that is because we have a stroke weight and the stroke weight is going to uh, affect how it's going to be uh, reflected so it's always going to use in Illustrator will always use the far right edge of this drawing and it's going to reflect it from that point so because this has a, a weight which goes across the guide that's why the reflection is not perfect and this is very important because this can really mess up your uh, illustration so before you are going to finish you will have to press shift x again when you switch back to the fill color instead of using stroke color because if you don't have any stroke uh, weight then you won't have any issues and you will have perfect alignment to the guide in the center so for now I'm going to just press shift X again just to uh, be able to see my stroke and while I'm drawing I leave it like this and at the end before we are going to expand the appearance of this effect that's when I'm going to again press shift X so just bear with me I'm going to do the same thing as before but the cool thing about this uh, transform effect is that it's a live effect so whatever I do with this path and it's important that you need to continue drawing your path so whatever you do with it it's going to be reflected on the other side so once I let this go this next curve you can see it's already visible there on the other side if you want to see it a little bit more I'm just going to increase the stroke size so you can see it so now I alt click here shift click there and then I do the same thing as before one part of the curve next part of the curve then zoom a little bit closer go up and then down and then draw this top bit as well something like that you can see because we have a very thick stroke it actually has a huge gap there, there in the middle but once I'm going to press shift X that's going to disappear so even if I turn off my guide you can see it's a perfectly aligned shape now if I make any changes still now using the white arrow tool for example I can select this point here and I move it a bit further up you can see everything is automatically changing on the other side as well so this is a great way to make any changes to your shape even when it's already uh, created you can still make adjustments to it and both sides will update accordingly if I want to have very long ears 
I can just check how that looks like. If I want this bottom point to go further down, I can check that as well. But let me just go back two steps and show you how to finish this off. So if you chose this technique to draw a symmetrical shape, you just have to finish with the object expand appearance option. But remember, make sure you have the fill color and not the stroke color. So you shouldn't have any stroke uh, color on, just fill when you expand the appearance, because that means your uh, center point will be perfectly aligned. So once you choose that, you will have two shapes and uh, then you can just join this together. Again, by just using the Shape Builder tool, click and drag over these two parts. And that's going to create again a perfect shape here, just like before we have the final version there. So I showed you two ways. It's up to you which one you prefer, either using the Reflect tool or the Transform effect. None of these techniques are better than the other, so it's up to you which one you prefer or whichever fits better to the workflow or the project you are working on. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time here on yesimadesigner.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. Also, if you want to learn more about design, check out my in-depth online courses on my website yesimadesigner.com.